Today on Cooking with Chef Fred, we're gonna make these gorgeous, delicious deviled eggs. Easter's coming up and these will go great on my brunch buffet. Hi, this is Chef Fred with Cooking with Chef Fred where I give you the best cooking tips and skills for everyday cooking that you can share with your family and friends. Let's get right into making the deviled eggs recipe right now. Okay, let's look at our ingredients that we need. I have a dozen of eggs here. Now I'm only gonna use six, but we love to have extra eggs in the refrigerator, so I'm gonna go ahead and do 12 while I'm boiling them and put them on this platter. We're gonna use Duke's mayonnaise. Now I love my Duke's mayonnaise. I know that might be an argument out there, Blue Plate or Hellman's or whatever kind you like, but I like Duke's, that's what I grew up on. We got dill relish salt and pepper, paprika to garnish with, and the eggs. And that's all that goes into it. But now let me tell you about cooking the eggs. This is the way that I've always done it and they crack very, very easily and peel very, very easily. What I do is I take my eggs and I place them in a pot of cold water. So we'll do that now. And we just place them in here and then what I do is I put them on the stove and I bring them to a boil. And once I bring them to a boil, I turn the, turn the stove off, I put a cover on them and I let them sit for 10 minutes. Set the timer for 10 minutes. Then we plunge them into ice cold water for five minutes. You'll see us do that today. And then that makes a beautiful, beautiful egg. Doesn't have the green around the yolk and how you have see the green, the gray around the yolk. That's because they've been cooked too long. So we're only going to go for 10 minutes. Now let's get these on the stove and let's get cooking some deviled eggs. All righty, let's get these on the stove. Turn the stove on. Now we're going to let those go till they come to a boil. Then we'll set the timer. Okay, our eggs are starting to boil now, so we're going to turn it off. We're going to put the lid on it. Then we're going to set our timer for 10 minutes. And then after the 10 minutes, we will plunge them into the cold water. Now what I do is I just come over to my ice maker, set it on cube and get some ice. Put some ice and then I use the water out of the refrigerator too because it's nice and cold. And I use that and I get me a bowl full of ice water because when our 10 minutes is up, we're going to take our eggs and we're going to put them into this ice water bath. And that's going to do a couple of things. One, it's going to stop the cooking so you don't overcook your eggs. And number two, it shocks it so that they peel easier. So we'll do this and then we'll get our eggs after our 10 minutes. We'll get them in our ice water. Okay, there's our timer. Now what we'll do is we'll take our eggs and bring them over here. Get rid of our lid. And now with a slotted spoon, we're going to take the eggs out of the hot water and plunge them into the cold water. And once again, this is going to stop the cooking so that we have nice yellow center eggs. And also, it's gonna shock them so that they peel easier. Now we're gonna put these in the cold water and we're gonna let those set for five minutes. We'll set the timer and those will set for five minutes. And then I'll show you how easy they peel. Okay, now let's get our eggs peeled. What I've got here is our, our cold eggs are in here. I've got a trash bowl and then I've got the bowl that I'm going to put them in uh, here. So what I like to do is just give them a good crack, give them a roll, and you can see that the shell just rolls right off. 
and see the shell just comes right off and we've got a beautiful egg that doesn't have gouges in it it's nice beautiful egg for our platter so I'm going to get these uh, peeled and uh, once I get them peeled I'll show you how we put them together okay now we're almost there we're going to take our egg the long way and we're going to take and we're just going to cut it right down the middle and look at that gorgeous yolk we just plop the yolk out like this and then we put our egg white there we just give these a nice slice and get them all sliced up now these eggs are great for Easter brunch Easter's coming up they're great to make them for Easter or if you're having a picnic summertime spring is coming summertime's coming great time for barbecues they go great with barbecues those yellows look absolutely gorgeous now what does your family do does your family like deviled eggs have you made them for do you know how to make them let me know down in the comments below <clears throat> let me know what you think about this recipe it's a really simple recipe been in the family my mother taught me how to do this and I'm sure her mother taught her because we were my mother and grandmother were cooking grandmothers okay so let's set that to the side now and then what I'm gonna do is just take a fork and we're going to just mash these yolks up just like this gonna give them a nice mash and once you get all these nice and mashed up we're going to add I do a tablespoon I do about two tablespoons of mayonnaise and then I do tablespoon of dill relish then we've got our salt we're going to give it a nice good little bit of salt then some fresh ground pepper and then we mix get everything nice and mixed Now you do, uh, you do you. If you want less mayonnaise, put less mayonnaise. If you want more pickle, then put more pickle. Um, you do you, ever how that is. Uh, maybe you have a recipe that you've used in the family before. This is just a base recipe that, like I said, we have had in the family forever. But you do whatever uh, you need to do to make it your own and if you do do a variation let me know down in the description below let me know what variations you do now we want to give it a taste mm -hmm. yep that's delish now there's a couple of things you can do you can get a baggie put this in a baggie and cut the tip off and put your yolks in but because this is just here for the home I'm going to put them in like this and if you're not sure if you'll have enough you can just put a little bit to start with and then you can come back around and put a dab more but it looks like we're going to have plenty. 
And that also helps where you put in a little bit of extra mayonnaise if you like. It helps it stretch out a little bit. Okay. Now if you want these to look a little neater, like I said, you can do the piping kind of thing. This is just for supper. So I'm just doing the quick and easy. Quick and easy way. Let's see, I've got a little bit more. That one right there needs a little bit more. And then you just go around and fill them up. Okay, now, doesn't that look beautiful? Now what I do is I take a little bit of paprika. Take just a little bit and give it just a little sprinkle just to give it a little bit of garnish. Just like that. And there we have our beautiful tray of eggs. Okay, let's take a bite of these eggs. Mmm. Oh, get that. The dill pickle, along with the egg yolk and the mayonnaise, it's got the right amount of salt and pepper, and it is so very delicious. I love deviled eggs. I, I hope you enjoyed today's show, and I hope you enjoyed making this recipe. Now be sure to click on the next video and join me there as we make another recipe. This is Chef Fred saying go and cook something great today. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.